What's up ADV fam? It means a lot that you guys come back on a weekly basis to watch our YouTube videos. It does take a lot of effort and time out of our entire staff schedule to produce these for you guys. So welcome to How It's Made number two. Today, we are gonna talk about our entire manufacturing process. So our entire product line, fenders, bedsides, hoods, you guys name it. We're gonna take you from step one to the end of the process on how we develop all of our products and manufacture them for each and every one of our customers. I'll do my best to slow down and explain the process as easy as possible. It's extremely easy for me to understand everything that we do, but when I started in the industry, it was a little confusing. So I'm gonna try and get it to the lowest level possible. That way our entire audience can understand it 100% because yes, it does get confusing at times. So let's get started. Starting off, we have an open face mold. We're gonna basically prep the mold. What prepping will consist of is cleaning out the entire mold to make sure there's no dust, there's no dirt, there's no debris inside of the mold. We're also gonna wax it. We use a TR216, that's a mold release. It goes over the entire surface. We let it sit in the mold, cure up, and wipe it nice and clean from the mold. Once the mold is done, which means done being prepped, it'll then move over to our gel coat facility. The gel coaters will then clean out the mold yet again to make sure that when they spray the gel coat in the mold, there's no dirt on the surface. We have to make sure the molds have a very shiny finish. All of our parts will also have a mirror reflection of the molds. So for example, if there's a scratch mark in the mold, if there's any dirt in the mold and we spray the gel coat inside of the mold, that part is gonna be a mirror reflection of whatever's inside the mold. So it's crucial to make sure that the mold is nice and clean. Once we spray the white gel coat as a base layer, we will then spray a gray as a backing. We do a two-stage gel coat because of the fact that if you only do one stage and just hold the white part to the sky, you'll be able to see directly through it. By doing a two-stage gel coat, a white as a base, a gray as a backing, it's a better quality part and you also can't see through it in the sun. Once the gel coat is fully sprayed, it sits and cures. Once it's cured, it gets passed off to our lamination department. The lamination department will then add filler to all the tight edges. What the filler does is it helps avoid any air pockets or voids that are hard to get the material to stretch into, mainly on those tight radius and tight corners. They will hand lay the actual mat in the mold and the cloth in the mold as well. After the resin's added, they squeegee out all the excess resin and we'll let the parts sit and cure. The material will fold over the edges. Once it tacks off, our team takes the knives and cuts the edge of the part. That completes that part of the process. It then gets passed over. It'll sit overnight for about 24 hours and then our team will demold it. So they'll pull the parts from the mold. As we showed you on the Bronco Raptor video previously, we have flanges. Those flanges need to come off the mold so the part can come out of the mold as well. After it's demolded, the molds will get prepped again, go through the process, but before that part is finished, it gets passed off to our grinding department. You'll notice the parts have sharp edges across all of the flanges and across all of the runoff areas too. So our team will take grinding to grind down all the edges, get the DA, clean up the edges of the flanges, add Bondo as well, sand down the Bondo, and finally paint the part. Once the grinding department finishes that process, it'll then get passed off to quality control. Our quality control department will confirm that there are no defects in the parts and once they get signed off on, it is either picked up, shipped out, or we install it for the customer as well. And that takes you through the entire process of our manufacturing. So thanks again for watching this. We took you guys through the entire process from start to finish on how we manufacture the products. In future videos on this series, we will compare our process to our competitor as well. That way you guys understand why we are the industry leader. We take it above and beyond for all of our products. A lot of our competition does take shortcuts and we will explain what they do at a later time so you understand why you're paying a premium for our part. That premium ends up getting you a better quality product, a better finish as well. In the long run, this is my saying, you may be paying more money up front for our parts, but you're gonna pay less in the long run because with competition, you pay less money on the products, but you pay a whole lot more on installing it and getting those lines to fit right. So, thanks again for watching this video. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Hit that subscribe button down below and any future content that our viewers wanna see, let us know. Thanks again.